And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And Wolves have possession again. Diego Costa, can he do it? Oh, right in the nick of time. The initial 11 for Wolves. Adama Traore starts with Daniel Podence out wide. And playing up front today is Diego Costa. The lineup for Manchester United. Davi De Gea stands between the posts. Christian Eriksen starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the focal point in attack today, Marcus Rashford. Well, it doesn't make great reading for our hosts. Just look at this. It's the weakest attack in the league, and that's official. Well, it's been a barren spell in front of goal, and these fans will want more from them today. But unless they show a greater desire to make forward runs, it's going to be another disappointing performance. Bruno Fernandes. Must take the lead here. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Moutinho. In possession, Adama. Clean challenge. Sancho. Now, let's see what they can do here. Very comfortable when in possession. Casemiro. Rashford. And Wolves have it back now. Podence. Ryan Ait Nuri. It's with Moutinho. Diego Costa. It might be the moment to get them ahead. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Well, can they prize them open now? Bruno Fernandes. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Well, they fancy a short one. Jadon Sancho. On to Bruno Fernandes. Just couldn't get it through round to make up and perhaps this corner can assist them and over from Ericsson well nothing productive really and play halted free kick given
Well, as you can see, Wolves are struggling to control possession, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Can they square the game? And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen. And the problem not completely solved. Lovely work to get past his man. Rashford! Oh, couldn't pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. That was a great opportunity to score. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Rashford still trailing but they're upping the pressure Dalo Bruno Fernandes has it Eriksen tremendous block no more time left that will conclude the first half here at Molyneux Back underway then, and work to do for United, given the scoreline. Johnny. Nunes. It's with Ruben Nervis. For dense. And they need to get tighter here. Diego Costa. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Anthony. Encouraging stuff from United. Not a good pass. Mateus Nunes. Now oh, they've given him too much space. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Now we're into the final half hour. Fernandes. Effective from Eriksen. Real chance. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Wide in the end. Good technique displayed. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Jaden Sancho. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Encouraging from the Wolves' point of view. Traore. 
Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, as this game ebbs away, Stuart, Wolves excelling out there. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Chances on. Diego Costa. Well, visionary passing. And he could cash in. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And back in action. It's looking rather like a matter of how many for Wolves. Scott McTominay. Christian Eriksen now. For Nansch. Rashford. And he really read that brilliantly. Wolves have it back. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And maybe Rashford! Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the referee says that will do it for this match anyway and it goes into the history books as a win for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, we spoke about their lack of goals before the game, but today they looked a completely different team. They got players into advanced areas, they got crosses into the box and they did it all with pace. That was a good display.